What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over January of 2022 and its results. Let's get started. Okay, so for January 2022, I made $4,312.50 in net profit. Uh, this has been one of my best months ever. And I was surprised how well I did because the market was obviously very volatile with the current uh, conditions um, and my systems that I was running prior or during January actually did very well. Now they only actually traded on one day. Um, so the trades were only actually made on the 31st of January. Um, so we only made six trades that day and that for that whole month. So it was, I think there was a lot of opportunity that I missed and I could have made a lot more, but overall, I mean, to be up during that month is fantastic. February, I didn't do too, too, I didn't do as well as a big wake up call. So in the next video that's gonna be uploaded tomorrow, uh, you'll see that. But yeah, we made four thousand three hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents in net profit. Um, commission is zero. I get this question a lot. So with Ninja Trader, I connected with my Interactive Brokers account, and when you do that, it doesn't automatically set commissions um, in the trade performance. You actually have to manually set a commission template. I keep forgetting to do that, but this number is probably a lot less. Um, it's probably like a couple dollars less with the, the futures commissions. So, um, you know, it's probably 4,310 or nine, whatever. So just wondering, just letting you guys know that, um, that the commissions are, are a number for sure. Um, I just haven't set the template for the account. I still got to do that. Um, okay. So we had a max drawdown of $2,237, meaning at the worst possible time from our highs, uh, we we were down two thousand two hundred thirty seven dollars. Sharp ratio of ten, which is awesome, but you know, really a mean a meaningless number in a, in a month. Um, we had a thirty three percent win rate with two winning trades, four losing trades for a total of six. Uh, our average trade trade made seven hundred eighteen dollars. Our average winning trade was three thousand six hundred fifty, and average losing trade was seven forty six. Um, what else? Any other stats? This stat, or sorry, the average MAE, which is something I like to look at as too, is um, maximum adverse excursion. So this value is kind of like your worst unrealized profit, if that makes sense. Um, because the drawdown only, the max drawdown, at least that NinjaTrader calculates, is only when you close a trade but you don't know how much you could be down unrealized. So if you're in a position, but you haven't closed it yet. So you want to use the MAE to look at that. So, you know, there was times where I was down in all trades 695, but long down a thousand, uh, short was max 525. So those are numbers to, to look at, say if you're back testing and you want to look at, all right, unrealized, how much could I be down? Cause obviously in real time, you might be uncomfortable with that, um, or, or use that number to kind of, you know, forecast what could happen. This is a number you want to use. So overall, great month. I'm happy. I made a return. I made money. Um, that's all I care about. Um, yes, it only traded on one day. You know, I'm not, I don't have 100 systems trading every day. That's just not how I roll. Um, I have a couple systems that I run. Um, I want to run more, but obviously I need more capital. So it's, um, you know, I, I just run them as is. Um, what else? February was a crushing month. It was uh, a big hit for me. So you'll see that in the next video. But January was, you know, very volatile. Um, you know, I think it closed, uh, the S&P futures did close red, uh, which is mainly what I'm trading. Um, I had I had four systems, um, two on S&P futures, one in NASDAQ. And um, no, yeah, I had three, my bad. Two on, on S&P and, and one in NASDAQ. And um, yeah, they closed red in January, but there was a little bit of resurgence at the end of the month, which is where I caught the profit that, that dip up back up. That's where I made all the profit, my, my six trades on that day. Um, so a lot of volatility. I missed a lot of opportunities. If I had more systems running, catching more moves that, that, you know, I would have made potentially more money, but you know, you can't, you can't catch them all, I guess. Um, this number is also really wrong profit per month. I think it's taking, it's saying that because I made this much in a day, I can make it all 30 days, which is not true because every day is different in the market. So I don't know why it's that high of a number, but, um, yeah, overall, you know, very happy with the month and, um, February was, was a big hit. So you'll see that, uh, it sucked.
But, you know, it's a wake-up call. Um, I want to start forecasting forecasting market conditions and building algorithms around that instead of, um, oops, sorry there, I whacked the mic. Instead of, you know, creating a bulk amount of strategies and just launching them all at once, it's better to have sort of um, a market forecast and say, hey, we think this month the market's going to go sideways, so we're only going to build algorithms that profit when the market goes sideways, that sort of stuff. So um, I think... I, I want to do incorporate that into my strategy generation and um, using type of a mar- market conditions to to decide to run to run an algo because in February I ran a bunch of algos and they didn't do well right so you're gonna see that next video but anyways yep January we made four thousand dollars very happy with that and um, uh, yeah let me know if you found value in this and if uh, leave a comment below if you did you know uh, I just like sharing my stats. And, and sharing what I've learned and mistakes and stuff like that. And I think the mistake for, for the last two months has been not forecasting market market conditions and missing opportunity on a lot of situations. Like because, you know, not having enough algos running or whatever, just missing opportunities. Um, but overall, you know, happy, happy with January for sure. So anyways, let me know if you found value in this video. Leave a comment below how you did in January or how your trading systems are doing. I'd love to hear that. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.